Well, those that know me know I do not like the word resilience at all. <laughs> like I, every time I hear it, I cringe a little bit. And honestly, I cringe because I know from the spouse culture, they cringe too. And so it's kind of my way of like, I'm going to voice what other people are maybe have a difficult time of voicing or that maybe they don't have the platform to voice it. Right. And so um, resilience is a trigger word. If I feel like if, if the DOD is listening, like we've got to step away from using that word resilience, because I will tell you every time you ask somebody or try to train somebody in resilience on the inside, we're all pushing back going, how dare you ask me to bounce back? Like that's the actual legitimate reaction that's happening on the inside. They're just not showing it on the outside. And the reason for that is if you look up the, the definition of resilience, it literally basically says to bounce back. And I, I don't what I say all the time is I don't know about you, but I don't want to bounce back to what I was before. I, there's a reason why I need to move forward because I wasn't doing well a few minutes ago. I don't want to bounce back to the coping that I had a few minutes ago. If I'm going to learn, I need to figure out how to bounce forward, grow, change, get stronger, become you know, I know that's what we're trying to say is we need to become stronger or evolve as human beings in our coping, in our um, expressions or whatever. So I think I personally love Angela Duckworth's grit is so much better as a definition. We are already an amazingly gritty group of people. Um, we know that this lifestyle is difficult. We know we're going to hit obstacles. We know it's going to be hard. And those that are going through it the first time are learning those lessons. And by the way, even if we weren't in the military, we'd probably be going through something difficult. And so grit by, according to Angela Duckworth, is so much of a better definition because it starts with a place that we already are, which is we're gritty. We're down to earth, we're real, we're honest. We are um, willing to go through something really challenging. But her, her, hold on a second. There's still noises. I don't know if you're hearing them, but I'm hearing them. Okay. But I, I love Angela Duckworth's definition so much more because her definition of grit says, you know, the way that we move forward and evolve and develop more grit in our life is that you, it's not how talented you are. It's not how skilled you are. It's not even um, your background or your education level, which means everybody gets to be gritty. It's like Oprah, like you get some grit and you get some grit and everybody gets to be gritty, right? Because everybody has the talent to become gritty and it all comes down to, can you take your current circumstances and find your future goal and then persevere until you reach that goal? That's all it is. And honestly, we as military spouses, especially, we do that all the time, whether you give us a deployment, whether you give us a move, whether you give us something to advocate for our kids. Almost everybody in our culture has had a moment where we've said, you know what, here I am, here's where I want to be, who do I want to become by the time I get there? And then that whole thing about pull up your big girl panties and get over it is all about, which I feel so bad for our male spouses out there when people are using phrases like that, right? It's so demeaning, but to be able to just say, you know what, this is who I want to become. And so maybe instead of saying, just get over it or just pull yourself together, maybe instead we can change that and say, you know what, this is really hard. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's sit in the pocket of the fact that we're going through something really challenging right now, perhaps something you've never had to go through before. Let's sit in that for a second and let's allow ourselves to have a feeling about that. Let's allow ourselves to be angry. Let's allow ourselves to be resentful. Let's allow ourselves to be a scared and insecure of our ability to get through something like that. And then after maybe a good cry, maybe after talking about it, then we go, all right, but I don't wanna be crying two weeks from now too, right? So what do I need to do? Who do I need to call on for support so that at the end of these two weeks, at the end of this deployment or whatever, I'm in a better place having learned something. That's grit. And we do it already. We know how to do it. We just need to bring that wording back into our conversations again and, and not ask ourselves to just be able to instantaneously bounce back and suddenly be res resilient. Instead, it's okay. We can just say, it's okay that I don't feel like I'm bouncing back to anything right now. I can sit in this icky place for a second, but I know at this next mile marker, I'm going to be in a better place. And that to me is so much more human of an expectation for people.